Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mehmu Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on discussing some of the basic and important most of the frequently asked interview questions on PHP. And in this video I will be discussing on one of the questions which is frequently asked on interview is how to declare arrays in PHP. Okay, How uh, you can declare your array in php because okay, so first of all we need to understand what's an array okay array is a data structure that holds collection of elements of same type or different type okay so we can create an array to hold the information of students okay and if you we can create an array to store only numbers and we can create an array to hold only character information okay and we can create an array for storing both number numerical and character information okay so there this is uh, everything about uh, arrays okay arrays are used for holding or storing informations okay now there are different methods or different ways of creating arrays or declaring arrays okay so first method here i have written okay so we need to create a variable and then we need to create an array like this okay and then we need to enter the values like uh, red green and blue okay so here i have created an array with a name colors and inside this colors array i have stored three colors three elements okay so this is the zeroth index and this is the first index and this is the second uh, index okay so uh, the first um, the element which you can see which is red is will be stored inside zero and the uh, green will be will having the index one and blue will be having the index two okay so arrays always starts with the index zero okay okay so next okay so whenever we run whenever we execute this uh, piece of code we will get the output like this okay so next method is somewhat similar to the first method here we have to um, specify an array okay and we need to mention the numbers which we want to store inside that array okay so this is the numerical array in this array i have stored only numbers okay so this is the zeroth index in which 10 is stored and this is the second sorry first index in which 20 is stored and this is the second index in which 30 is stored okay so and then i have printed out uh, that uh, array of numbers and this is the output of this array okay here you can see this is inside zero index you can see 10 is stored inside one first index 20 is stored inside two second index 30 is stored okay so this is the second way of of uh, declaring an array in php okay now the third method we can here we have stored both numerical and character information into an array okay so here the third method that is, is exactly same uh, as second method okay in the third method here you can see here i have given a key and value pair okay so this is the key and this is the value of this key okay id equals to 101 okay and first uh, first name is mahmood okay and second name or the last name is she okay so this we can call it as associative array as well okay so where we are we are storing the data inside the array in the form of key and values okay so these are the keys id f name and l name are the keys and these are the values 101 mahmood and shake okay so we can display the entire array exactly the same way i have displayed here except using print underscore r statement okay if you want to access any specific index from the array from your array you can do that okay so for that you need to write a php code like this echo and the variable name in uh, which is your array dollar data in this case okay so and then you need to target that particular piece of information with the help of that key okay so this is the key here which i am referencing inside this array index okay there's still that i want only id information from that array okay so when we run this statement we will get only id okay if i want to get only f name information from that array then i need to mention like this echo dollar data and then we need to mention the key of that piece of information okay so the if we run this then we will get mehmood okay so uh, because i have mentioned the key for this particular value okay and if i want to get the details of last name then i just have to write this way okay dollar data and then l name which is the key of the l name part okay inside the array okay so this is how we can 
declare arrays in different ways okay so let me give you a demo of this uh, examples or methods okay so now let's try to run these examples okay, let's go to our editor here you can see okay let me just comment these statements okay now save it okay now let's try to access this page 27.0.0.1 slash php faq okay that's all okay now you can see after executing the first okay so the here i have declared an array okay and this array of colors stores three elements okay red green and blue colors okay so index of red here you can see zero okay inside index zero i have stored the value of red and inside index one i have stored green and inside index two i have stored blue okay so as i have said arrays always starts with index zero okay so now let's try to run this statement okay let's check the other method okay here i have created an, an array of numbers okay here also i have three i have stored three numbers inside the array and here i have printed those uh, elements of array okay now let's refresh okay now save it okay i just have to save it okay now let's refresh now you can see the second array is displaying where index 0 will be having 10 index 1 will be having 20 and index 2 will be having 30 okay so this is the numerical array where i have stored only numbers okay now let's try to execute the third one now save it okay so this is our associated associative array where we have stored the uh, information in the form of key and value okay so these are the keys and these are the values okay now i haven't used this print and then i haven't enter the data kind of thing okay you will not see this statement here instead of that what i have done is i have access i have tried to access each and every piece of information from that array okay so this is our array data is our array and i want to access only id part from that array okay now it will give me only id see now i'll be able to get only id information okay if i want to get first name as well from that array then i just have to uh, i just have to comment it okay i uncomment it and it will return first name as well okay and if i want last name which is the third value from that uh, array then we will get last name as well okay so this is how we can access individual elements of an array as well okay so the, this is everything about declaring arrays using php and there are and uh, different methods of declaring arrays okay so apart from this i just want to tell you some more functions okay i just want to tell about count function and in array function okay so these two functions are also very very important okay so you may use these functions while development okay so now let's count the number of elements that are present inside this colors array okay so for that i will just okay i'll just print dollar count okay and then let's echo this save it okay now you can see inside this colors array we are having three elements so it should return us okay, i won't save i guess okay. okay count of colors save it okay now you can see it's displaying me three okay that means uh, this particular array holding three elements okay so we can count the number of elements from the array okay now if you want to check whether an element present inside the array or not okay for that we are having an another function called as in array therefore let's come here just copy right here okay we will use an if condition with the help of if condition we will try to see whether an element inside the array is present or not if we found that element then we will display element found if we didn't find that element then we will display not found okay so let's write if 
and then else okay if in array okay and then we need to pass this array okay and then we need to mention we need to provide the value which we are looking looking for the element which we are looking for okay so let's say item term equals to green okay so now let's take this element and then put it here okay so here what we are doing is whether here we are checking whether this particular array which is this colors array holding the item called green or not okay so if we found that element then we will just print element found else not found okay save it now let's refresh okay now it's displaying me an error in array express parameter to be to be an array okay so here the second parameter should be of array type okay not the first parameter okay first parameter should be an item which we are looking inside that array and the second parameter will be that array in which we have stored our array elements okay now let's save it and now let's refresh now it's displaying element found okay because that the um, element which is green is present inside this array that's why it's displaying element found okay so if i change it to yellow and now i'm trying to search for this yellow, yellow element inside this colors array so now let's see what it will display not found because that particular element which is yellow in this case is not present inside this array okay so these two functions like count and in array functions are very very useful uh, while development okay so and uh, people ask these questions as well at the time of interviews okay i hope you like this video guys i hope you understood what is an array and what are different ways of declaring an array so this is the method one and here we have method two sorry this one is method two and here we have method three okay so these are the three ways or three methods by which we can declare an array in php okay so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful information and some valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i will see you guys in my next video where i'll be discussing on some other interview questions and until then goodbye thanks for watching